that uh, Flying J there where we met up with Jukebox last night. He still doesn't have no load there, so uh, he's uh, waiting for some further instructions on what to do. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we weren't sure if we were going to be able to meet up there yesterday because uh, he had to deliver 31 miles down the road from here and uh, he was, you know, getting there in the evening there yesterday and so we weren't sure if he, you know, how long it was going to take him to get unloaded and all that so and so we had no idea of who was going to work but then uh, he got unloaded there about uh, half an hour before I got there and and so he was able to make her down there and so he got there just before I got there and so uh, so yeah so we were lucky to be able to meet up there yesterday and today we're gonna have to see if we're gonna get some snow I know right now, further Keep west of Cedar Falls, it is snowing currently. I was checking the radar, and so uh, obviously it's moving this way, my way. Basically, it's moving east. So I could suspect seeing some uh, snow yet later on today, which I don't really care for. But oh well. Yes, we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. I don't really want any snow yet, but... Oh well, it's going to come here eventually, right? That's what I always say, but... Yep, we got uh, about 500 miles, or it was 496 miles from the truck stop to my delivery, so uh, looks like we'll be there probably about 5 o'clock this afternoon. I thought I was going to get there later, I thought I was going to be there like at 8, but it looks like we'll be there at 5, so uh, hopefully they'll be happy to get us unloaded. I called the customer yesterday, and never heard anything back from him, and so uh, yeah. Alright guys, we are now coming into the area, well, part of Chicago I guess you could say. Or, yeah, I guess you could say the surrounding areas of Chicago. That's what we're coming into right now. We're still in Indiana, but we're only 18 miles to Illinois. So, this is pretty much where Chicago starts, pretty much. I mean, obviously, it's not called Chicago yet, but it is pretty much in the area. So, uh and it looks like it is starting to get a little cloudy out there. Yeah. Oh well, that's okay. We still got it pretty nice and warm. It's actually 19 degrees Celsius right now. So that's actually pretty nice and warm. With that kind of temperature, I don't think we're going to see any snow. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes when we go further west, but I'm sure it's going to start cooling down as further west we go, but but as of right now, we're in the clear. Yes, indeed we are. But all this construction they've had here in the last year on this highway has finally paid off. Look at that. They finally got everything done and looks like they cleared off all the cones and all that stuff and now we finally got a nice smooth highway for the most part at least unless you're going over the bridge it's a little rough sometimes but for the most part we got a nice smooth highway finally yeah I don't know what this FedEx truck wants to do he's not sure I thought he was gonna take that exit and then he's coming back oh no look at that he's taking the exit again I kind of thought he didn't know where he what he was doing <laughs> Yeah, I guess he has no idea what he wants to do, but Anyways, here we are. We're gonna go up to the I-80 and take I-80 all the way across up there to 380 Now we'll go up 380 to our delivery and I know at first the GPS wanted me to kind of take the 20 All the way across and I don't really want to do that. I'll go all the back roads up there 
I mean it's only like 18 miles further around to go this way and but then at least we'll be on non interstate so 18 minutes I could easily save that by going on the interstate especially if you're going through a lot of towns and stuff like that you can easily save that 18 minutes by going the interstate so so yeah we'll get on through here it's 10 30 in the morning right now so shouldn't have too much traffic going through here I would think but then again you never know it could be an accident like we saw one earlier there on the eastbound side there uh, just as we got onto the 94 there by about mile marker 90 ish somewhere around there there was a big truck and uh, one of these uh, pickup trucks with one of them trailers that that holds cars got into it I guess there and the big truck went all the way into the ditch and looked like it did some serious damage to the vehicle so so if something like that happens then you can easily see a backup happening you know it is starting to be really windy now all of a sudden but I guess it's blowing the hot air away from here at least it's trying and it's trying to blow in the cold air I suppose but as of right now we're just cruising along here we just had our half an hour break off and now it's time to get the rest of the miles in and get down to our delivery we got another three and three quarter hours worth of driving to do before we can do that so it looks like right around five o'clock will be a quarter to five five o'clock will be at the customer unless something else goes wrong but yeah this is the LaSalle Flying J up here that I was at the other day yes indeed I was down here but anyways we're just cruising right along here luckily we're pretty heavy the wind is just blowing like you wouldn't believe and it's sort of coming across the highway a little bit so it's trying to push me off the road that's what it's doing but oh well it's not successful yet it looks like we will be crossing Iowa here in a minute or two yeah that's like what I said before usually right as soon as you go over a river got to be some kind of state line right and that wind is just super strong coming across there today oh yeah here we go entering Iowa. that's what I said we'll be entering Iowa here so welcome to Iowa guys yeah we got 140 miles to go to our delivery so a little over two hours but two hours and 15 minutes so it looks like right about quarter to five we'll be there yes indeed as long as the wind won't blow us over right <laughs> i sure hope that that ain't gonna happen but but yeah here we are now we are in iowa luckily we haven't seen any snow or not even too much of a rain yet had a little bit of a drizzle there earlier but that disappeared real quickly and now everything is fine yes indeed but anyways we'll continue on cruising along here and we'll hope for the best to get unloaded yet today they still haven't called me back I called them yesterday already and left them a message and no return phone call whatsoever yet so I don't know maybe they're not listening to their voicemail or maybe they just said okay no problem you know he called he let us know so we'll see i am done for today guys and a matter of fact of speaking it's actually the next morning we had us a good night's sleep where we tried as best as we could with this wind hauling over here look at that tree over there right now it's not the strongest but it every once in a while you see that tree almost bend over that truck you know like holy smokes that wind is just hauling over here man it's like 
and it was like this last night already when I uh, got down here so but uh, yeah we uh, didn't have the greatest day yesterday and uh, that's probably one of the reasons why we have a little bit of a shorter video uh, well I guess it's on today's vlog but but yeah what happened yesterday there about midday I got a message from the wife there or mid morning I meant to say saying that our daughter had passed out uh, at the school and uh, that they had called the ambulance and uh, they were on the way to uh, pick her up and uh, bring her to the hospital and so as uh, a moment where uh, you know I'm a thousand miles away from home and that's uh, that's a day that you regret being a truck driver you know you would love to have a local job and you could you know go to the hospital and be there with your family and and all that good stuff so then you could comfort the wife and everything so yeah fortunately I'm down here and so I didn't really videotape much after that so but yeah we made it to our delivery yesterday we got unloaded real quick and uh, made it over here to Cedar Rapids Iowa now we are here uh, we're still in Cedar Rapids Iowa and uh, picked up my preloaded trailer and here's another thing that happened last night um, some drivers are very professional and some are not right so uh, at this customer that we pick up at I slept twice already and you see in videos on it because I uh, I've been down here and remember the one video I was cleaning my truck on the inside while I was waiting for the load to get ready because that load usually only gets ready about 9 o'clock at night or something like that 10 maybe you know and so uh, I get down there yesterday and uh, I said you know so my load was ready so I said alright well I'm just gonna go drop my drampty there and go in the back there and park up till there right and he said actually you know what we stopped doing that about a month and a half ago and he said the reason being is somebody out there yes some truck driver out there screwed it up for the rest of us no that's a big thumbs down driver why are you screwing it up for us no we can't sleep there anymore so I had some issues there with uh, with the driver there and they said okay you guys just want to be a pain in the butt or having issues over there then we're kicking you out of there so we're no longer allowed to stay there for the night so that kind of sucks because you know you get down there and the load is usually only ready between 9 and 10 o'clock at night well then where are you gonna go I mean this truck stop is only three miles from there but it was full last night when I got here and I even got here I don't know what was it yeah nine o'clock I got here and it was full and so you know I mean where are you gonna go right so at, at that time of the night so you know if you're a driver don't screw it up for for the other drivers you know don't you know, even though you might be upset, it's not that the load is not ready or whatever, you know, don't be screwing it up for the rest of us, you know. Be professional when you get to a customer, you know. Be polite and professional. Uh, even though you might be uh, really mad at them for whatever reason, you, you know, you might have a bad day or whatever. Be professional out there, you know, and, and treat, uh, treat the customers right because then they'll rehire you to haul a load first of all second of all will make the rest of us drivers uh, job easier coming in there because now if you go in there and you piss off the uh, customer there the shipper or receiver the next guy coming after that well the shipper is going to be pissed off because you pissed him off and now the rest of us all have to deal with that right now we got a pissed off customer because some truck driver come in there and giving them shit or whatever you know and so but anyways, that happens on occasions to me as well that I experienced that where I get to a customer and they're all pissed off and usually it's because somebody else pissed them off, you know. And, but anyways, that's just my tip of the day for today. I'm going to quit talking about that. Just a tip for you guys that want to be a truck driver or, you know, that are getting into school and all that. So, so I guess we should title this video Tips for Truckers or Want to Be Truckers or, you know, for those of you that are looking for tips for being in the trucking industry <laughs> be professional out there that's right 
not just around shippers and, and receivers. Be professional all the way around in the trucking industry. Don't be called a steering wheel holder. Be called a professional driver. And that's what the what they look at us, especially the DOTs, they say we're supposed to be a professional driver. So let's let's be professional guys. <laughs> but anyways with that being said, we will see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out which will be tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. Central Time.